everyone. Thanks for joining us here at Going Places with Jesus Ministries. I just want to remind us that Jesus died on the cross and he suffered a sacred suffering so that you and I can have mental and emotional healing. He could identify with our pain. He could identify with our brokenness because he dealt with isolation. He, ident he identified with rejection. He identified with thoughts that were so unbearable and unimaginable because the Bible tells us that, that he felt so overwhelmed just before he went to Calvary that he even asked the Father to take this plight, to take this overwhelming experience away from him. They, could you imagine the anxiety, the stress, the trauma, the rejection, the pain in his heart and the brokenness that he felt? Many of us can identify with that today based on our lived experiences. But I just want to stop by really quick and encourage you and actually encourage myself that Jesus suffered so that we can survive and that we can thrive mentally, emotionally. And I just want to encourage you that to receive that healing, to receive that healing that is offered to us today. And in the ways that he heals us, spiritually, but he also heals us in our emotions. He also heals us in our hearts and our minds. And some of the great blessings that we can get from that type of healing is that it gives us, in some cases, lower depression and anxiety and stress. It can lower our, it can improve our resilience and our well-being, our sense of belonging, knowing that we are loved, knowing that we are accepted, knowing that he cares for us in such a deep and intimate way. Jesus loves you. And I just want to encourage every person right now, whether you are struggling, whether you are know someone that is struggling mentally and emotionally, tap in to the healing that God is offering to us today. And so we don't have to wrestle with thoughts that are not conducive to our health and well-being, but actually we can walk out that freely. We can walk out that boldly and know that we are free today. And I just want to put this in right here. I am a, um, a person that works in the mental health field, and I just want to encourage all practitioners, whether you're in instruction or whether you are in practice and you're working alongside persons that need mental and emotional healing, I want to encourage you today, all practitioners, don't be afraid to incorporate faith-based interventions into your practice because while we know therapy and counseling works, we know that God is able to heal us comprehensively. So that is my encouragement to you. Be sure to know that God loves you and he has healed you mentally, emotionally. And so receive that healing today. God bless you. Mm -hmm.